a few days ago when I was first testing this fragrance out and I was walking out, I'm like, damn, I smell good. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do a little re-review on a fragrance called El Cielo. And I'm pretty sure that means like heaven in Spanish or things like that. I'll put the Spanish translation in the video. But this is a fragrance that I reviewed a long time ago. I fell off with our mauve fragrances a little while ago because it seemed like they were always copying Invictus or they were copying like a designer fragrance and I would end up having like maybe seven or eight bottles uh, copying a designer fragrance that I didn't like. So I kind of was just pushing them away. When I first did a review on this fragrance, I pretty much said that, you know, it was like Invictus because it has some similarities to Invictus. I'm gonna get to that later on, but kind of wrote this off as just an Invictus style clone. After retesting, especially in the summer heat, they, I actually really do like it. And it has a few nuances that I did not remember that I've actually grown to like. So I forgot to look up the notes before I did this video. So I'll put the notes down below right now. To me, it smells like a mix between Invictus and Nautica Voyage. I don't know if you smelled that kind of marine algae kind of smell that Nautica Voyage has. It's almost like a sweet but marine -y kind of smell. I picked that up in here mixed with like an Invictus kind of smell as well. I'm surprised that I said this was so close to Invictus or an Invictus clone because I do see the similarities, but after spraying it, I find it to be pretty different because it has that marine algae style vibe, almost like a green apple style vibe. Again, I'll put the notes down below so you guys can check them out. Usually I say them in the video. So let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it is likable and it has good projection for being an aquatic style, fresh style fragrance. It's also a bit different, like I was saying before. I feel like people are gonna buy this fragrance and get mad at me that it smells too close to Invictus, but to me, I actually really, really like this fragrance. I actually sprayed it up like a few days ago when I was in first testing this fragrance out and I was walking out, I'm like, damn, I smell good. Like, I feel like if somebody is willing to give a compliment, they will when I spray this, especially because it's so hot out here. It's always like 95, 100 where I live. I just really like that. And I've been wearing a lot of fragrances that I really like that smell good. But when I wore this, I just felt like, wow. I barely even considered this fragrance when I would, you know, grab something to go out in the heat. It almost smells like the best thing I've worn in a month, almost. It is a bit different. It has pretty good projection for being a fresh aquatic style fragrance. Those are one of the weaker style fragrances is fresh aquatics. And then the last pro of this one is that it's great for summer. I'm not a surprise here. It smells like Nautica Voyage and Invictus. Those two are very, very known summer scents, so it's not surprising here. The overall really good scent, likable, good projection, a bit different and great for summer. So let's jump into the cons of this fragrance. I really don't have too many. If I'm really looking for cons, it is a little bit simple. Like if I was gonna compare this to what I would consider the perfect fragrance, I would want a little more complexity to that. But that being said, I'm overall really impressed with this versus Invictus and how much I liked it. I'm just saying if I have to nitpick, if it had a little bit extra, it would be closer to perfect. But for being a cheap fragrance, this is absolutely fantastic. And then the last con of this one, obviously it's not the best for the cold because it is fresh, marine, aquatic. So if you live in a really cold environment, not as good, but some people like that fresh smelling all the time. Maybe you live in the cold and you're like, man, when I wear something fresh, it kind of takes my mind off of the cold situation that I'm in. So maybe you'd want that. If I were to give this a smell rating, I would give this between an 8 to an 8.5. It's not something groundbreaking, but it also does something a little differently than I expected it to, and it smells really, really good. 8 to an 8.5 for the smell. Likeability, probably its strongest suit. I would give this an 8.5 to a 9. Longevity and projection, I would give this a solid 7.5. I would say that it projects a decent amount, but then also goes away somewhat quick. I would say that you probably have a good hour and a half of projection and then you have like a few hours of if you walk around somebody they're gonna smell it, but it'll be a little bit closer probably above average for fresh aquatics but average across the board I had no issues with it that's been my re-review of El Cielo and it's actually jumped up if I was gonna make like a top 10 cheap fragrances or a top 10 are mobs I might include this one formerly I was including I think it was called Rixos but everyone says that Rixos was discontinued Rixos I used to like it a little more because I found it to be closer to 
Invictus slash Invictus Aqua. And I found this one to be a little bit just more like sweet classic Invictus, but this is almost 60, 70% Invictus. It's not like 80, 90, 95. It actually pulls itself a little farther away with that marine style smell. What do you think of this fragrance? What do you think of other Armavs? Do you have another Armav that you suggest for me to get that's not $100? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. El Silo Porom Re-Review.